Hello class, I welcome you all to this session. This session we are going to discuss chapter 3, uh, change in profit sharing ratio among existing partners. So whenever there is a change in relationship, it results in reconstitution of the firm. So what is reconstitution of the firm? It arises when change in profit sharing ratio among existing partners or admission or retirement or during death or amalgamation of two or more partnership firm. Uh, so whenever this uh, reconstitution arises, whenever there is change in profit sharing ratio among existing partners due to various reasons or admission or retirement or death or amalgamation of two or more partnership firm, in that case, uh, it leads to reconstitution. So whenever there is reconstitution, every every day, now and then there will be a change in the profit sharing ratio. So when there is reconstitution. So uh, reconstitution can be like ABC are existing partners new partner is getting admitted so the profit sharing ratio of abc d will change okay so abc will change so because new partner is getting admitted suppose abc partners are there but uh, c is died or he is being retired then a and b alone has to share the profits we will be looking into one problem to understand what is sacrificing ratio and gaining ratio okay so problem number four in your exercise, A, B, C are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 5 is to 4 is to 1. Calculate the new profit sharing ratio. PSR is profit sharing ratio, sacrificing ratio and gaining ratio in each of the following cases. Uh, case 1, C acquires one fifth share from A. Now, what is sacrificing ratio? old ratio minus new ratio what is gaining ratio new ratio minus old ratio there is nothing called as a see gaining ratio when sacrificing ratio is a negative figure then it will be called as a gaining ratio now in this case what is the old ratio of a b and c 5 is to 4 is to 1 now what's happening C is acquiring one fifth share from A. So A 5 by 10. How did I get 10? 5 plus 4 plus 1. So 10. Now A is willing to give one fifth of share to C. Now A is willing to give one fifth of share to C. Okay. So I am just deducting one fifth share from A. B there is no change of uh, ratio so whatever is the ratio that's existing 4 by 10 will exist now C is gaining something so what is gaining old ratio is 1 by 10 plus 1 by 5 he is gaining now whenever there is something like this what you are supposed to do is you need to equalize the denominator so when you equalize the denominator it is you need to multiply by 2 okay so 5 by 10 minus 2 by 10 similarly 1 by 10 plus 2 by 10 now this case 5 by 5 minus 2 is 3 by 10 here there is no change 4 by 10 here 3 by 10 what is the new ratio new ratio among a b and c is 3 is to 4 is to 3. So, this is the answer for the first case. For the second case, C acquires one fifth share equally from. Now, from is there, from A and B. In case from is there, what you are supposed to do, you need to deduct. Okay. So, what we are supposed to do, A old share 5 by 10. From that, C is getting how much? One fifth share from A. So, I am just deducting one fifth share from A. Minus 1 by 5. half half of this 1 by 5 so what we will do we will not 
uh, enter like this what we have to enter is 1 by 5 is divided by into half 0 0.5 divided by 2.5 0 0.5 divided by 2.5 now what will make so if we are multiplying by 4 it will be multiplying by 4 it will be see i am not taking it as power please don't take it as power i am just multiplying by 4 ok so multiplied by 4 i will get 1 by 10 am i right so this also is 1 by 10 so this 1 by 5 i am just changing it to half and i am making equal to the denominator so that it can be deducted from the denom from the share of a so in this case a's share is how much 5 by 10 am i right so a share is 5 by 10 minus 1 by 10 b's share is 4 by 10 minus 1 by 10 now c share is existing share is how much 1 by 10 plus uh, a sacrifice and b sacrifice which is 2 by 10 ok so 2 by 10 or you can write 1 by 5 into 2 i am just directly written as 2 by 10 now this is 4 by 10 3 by 10 3 by 10 now in this case what is the new profit sharing ratio new profit sharing ratio of a b and c is 4 is to 3 is to 3 so this is the answer i hope that this is clear now a b c will share future profits equally now now a b c will receive future profits equally which means sacrificing ratio is old ratio minus new ratio what is old ratio for a it is 5 divided by 10 for b it is 4 divided by 10 for c it is 1 divided by 10 now minus new ratio what is the new ratio 1 is 2 1 is 2 1 because it is equal divided by 3 1 minus 3 1 by 3 now if i am multiplying this with 10 this with 10 this with 10 uh, and if i am multiplying this with 10 this will be equalized am i right so this will be equalized 30 now if i am multiplying this with 3 this with 3 and this with 3 now what will be my result 5 into 3 15 divided by 30 minus 10 divided by 30 and 12 divided by 30 minus 10 divided by 30 3 divided by 30 minus 10 divided by 30 so it is 5 divided by 30 2 divided by 30 and minus 7 divided by 30 am i right so this is the sacrificing ratio sacrificing ratio and this is a gaining ratio whenever there is old ratio minus new ratio when new ratio is minus old ratio then i told you it is gaining ratio am i right so gaining ratio is new ratio minus old ratio so new ratio is uh, 10 divided by uh, 30 old ratio is 3 divided by 30 so which means positive 7 so even though it is a negative figure don't get uh, worried it's it's a gaining ratio so in this case what is the new ratio new ratio is the, these are the answer new ratio case number 4 what is the case number 4 c acquires one tenth share of a so this case is uh, slightly important because you have of c, c acquires one tenth share of a and one half share of b now it is from means you need to deduct of means you need to multiply now given old ratio is 5 is to 4 is to 1 now a's sacrifice to c what is a's sacrifice to c it is 5 by 10 into 1 by 10 what is b's sacrifice to c it is 4 by 10 into 1 divided by 2 
so now we need to first identify what is the sacrifice now 5 into 1 divided by 10 into 10 so it is see uh, usually when you are doing like this it will be 1 1 by 20 ok so 5 divided by 100 5 divided by 100 is otherwise 1 divided by 20 ok similarly 4 into 1 divided by 10 into 2 in this case it is 4 divided by 20 able to understand now the next step what is C's gain C's gain is 1 by 20 plus 4 by 20 which is 5 by 20 ok so this is what you need to understand 1 by 20 plus 4 by 20 is equal to 5 by 20 now A is equal to 5 by 10 minus 1 by 20 what is this 5 by 10 minus the new old ratio minus new ratio so which comes to now I am just to equalize this I am just multiplying with 2 10 divided by 20 minus 1 divided by 20 which comes to 9 divided by 20 for B what is for B it is 4 divided by 10 minus 4 divided by 20 in this case I need to multiply by 2 so 2 4s are 8 divided by 10 into 2 20 minus 4 divided by 20 which is 4 divided by 20 now see what is C's uh, gaining ratio already add 1 by 10 plus 5 by 20 in this case we need to multiply it with 2 so I am just getting 2 by 20 plus 5 by 20 which comes to 7 by 20. So my new ratio is 9 is to 4 is to 7. Okay. So this will be the new ratio. I hope this, this is clear. So uh, if you understood well and good. If you are not understood just make sure that you try it one more time look into the video one more time you will be able to understand so one thing one rule you need to remember if it is from then deduct if it is off then multiply okay so this rule always you remember okay it will be easy for you fine so next problem i look i'll meet you in the next problem till then practice thank you class